Hi, my fellow YouTube followers, and welcome to Cloudwoods. Lately, I've been a little obsessed with cloud storage and particularly security, and I've been looking at a lot of services promising better security features than Dropbox, than OneDrive, than Google Drive. While better security is important for personal users, it is paramount for businesses. That's why today I'd like to take a few minutes to talk to you about eBox, which is a great alternative to Dropbox for businesses that need strong security. They are an online storage provider based out of the UK, and they do a fantastic job of securing your users' data, and we'll see why in the next few minutes of this review. But before we dig into their wealth of security controls, we need to discuss what types of users their service is best for and how their software in reality works. Their service is both a blessing and sort of a curse because they're not well suited for individual users or extremely small businesses. However, their service is refined for businesses that need online storage for a moderate number of users and need granular control of access rights. For example, uh, setting up folders into read-only mode. This is an online storage service, mind you. So businesses won't get a syncing client like Dropbox or Google Drive. So you need to download files to change them and upload them again once you're basically finished editing or your team is finished editing. Pricing for this service is a bit weird at first, but it does make sense in the overall concept. Right now, eBox requires a minimum quota of 10 credits per month, which costs about 60 pounds unless customers purchase credits in larger, uh, in larger quantities. One credit essentially allows one user a whole month of access to their storage system and comes with one terabyte of storage. While this isn't really ideal for single users, it does give businesses tremendous flexibility to really manage who has access to their files. If a freelancer or other employee only needs short-term collaboration, they only need to use a single credit instead of signing a user up for a longer-term plan, which gives businesses a lot of flexibility. So now we have a basic understanding of the service and now I'd like to dig a little deeper into the nitty-gritty details of the security side of their servers. First of all, know that they encrypt user data end-to-end, -end, which is really an industry standard practice, though the security protocols providers choose often change. Ebox actually uses TLS to encrypt data as it is in transit to their servers, and then they use AES 128-bit encryption to secure user data once it is stored on their servers. This is, in my opinion, a pretty good solution, but obviously not the strongest one. Other providers require that their users personally manage their own encryption keys, meaning that there is no chance whatsoever that an employee could actually see your data when it is being stored. Still, I believe the chances that someone is actually going to be able to decrypt your data while it sits on eBooks as service is basically next to nil. Now, one of the major advantages is that all of their storage servers are located in the UK. So users won't have to worry about any tampering or surveillance from the NSA. One thing a lot of their competitors lack, Dropbox included, is a way to manage access permissions. In fact, a lot of other providers focus on making data as shareable as possible with download and upload links for basically anybody who has access to that particular folder. In a business environment, this poses a real challenge. Would you really want sensitive financial information or customer data to be accessed by people outside of the organization or somebody on the team who has, hasn't really the, author the authorization to do so? Of course not. To fight security challenges, eBox um, came up with two solutions to this growing problem. The first feature they added to combat security issues is an auditing system and it's really ridiculously detailed. Each and every activity performed by users is recorded and timestamped, leaving a useful audit trail for the admin. 
you can see the time and date that any user performed any action on a file and administrators can audit on a per user, per group, and per file basis. Try doing that with Dropbox, that's virtually impossible. Now, they provide a useful feature that lets you separate groups of files into separate workspaces. A workspace is really just a way to virtually partition your cloud storage space, and it helps to ensure that users only have access to the files they're actually supposed to see. And last but not least, they have extensive access control features. Ebox allows admins to separate users into functional groups. In a business environment, this is a key security feature because you can set up access permissions on a departmental basis. For example, administrators can create one group for their accounting department and another one for the legal department, for the support department, and so on and so forth. This way, you don't have to spend like hours setting up individual permissions for each and every user you, you have into your team. Instead, you just apply one access permission to change an entire group and the changes automatically apply to every user within that group. The system does take a while to understand, but eBox has interactive wizards that guide you through each individual process to set up permissions correctly. Obviously, there are some points I simply need to critique here. For example, there are no easy context menus or folders. I wish I could simply, I don't know, right click on a folder or in a workspace and set permissions there instead of going back to the admin panel to manage my permissions to hit the right checkboxes and so forth. This is sometimes a little confusing, especially when moving from uh, consumer grade services like Dropbox, OneDrive or Google Drive where you just right click and everything works. Also, I would have loved to see a file preview feature where the most important file types are supported. Now it's only PDF and JPEG. Also, an option for public link creation would really be useful, maybe with a password protection to add a little more security instead of having to send an invitation to a client or a free freelancer to get, to get access to uh, files. Now, to sum it up, this system is for companies who are looking for a safe data repository in the cloud who don't need a fancy synchronization client but rather are more concerned about their data being hosted in the UK and need detailed audition and file permission controls. I still think it needs to mature a little bit especially when it comes to collaborative uh, features. Now it is not a solution for consumers who are looking for a Dropbox replacement with a synchronization client, etc. To those, I highly recommend sync.com, where you can find a detailed review right here in my channel. If you like to give eBox a spin, you can test their service for 30 days for free with no credit card required. And I'll leave you all the links in the description box below so you can check it out and maybe it's something for your company. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to find more videos around cloud storage and collaboration. And we're going to see us next time.